Hey there, this is Shia Schaefer from Maui, your Tantra relationship and love coach, as well as spiritual hmm, coach as well, <laughs> among other things. Um, and I have something to share today that is kind of fascinating because, you know, a lot of times it feels like the concepts of forgiveness or maybe healing a trauma can be a little evasive and like just easier said than done. And, you know, like, how does that really work when you break it down into what that looks like in life, you know? And some of us, I think, get stuck there because we're not really sure how to process a trauma or forgive someone, you know, who's done something that feels obviously wrong or out of integrity. And so, Sorry, it's really hot here in Maui. <laughs> um, and so, you know, in just reflecting on these concepts myself and going through so much personal development and ascension lately, um, <clears throat> there's a few things that kind of clicked for me that I think will assist some of you as well. So it dawned on me, you know, that You know, we're all at different stages in our ascension path or evolution path. We um, are evolving, preferably, and hopefully you're not going backwards, <laughs> um, which can, addicts can do pretty successfully, but it, whatever. Um, we're talking about, you know, in general, we like to think that we're progressing, right? And some of us are way more on the personal path of development than others. But there's no way you can live on the planet without going through some pretty heavy duty stuff, some traumas. Um, everyone has some memories of, you know, going through really tough times in their life. And you know, sometimes it just feels like it takes a lifetime to get over some of these things. And I'm like, there's got to be an easier way, a faster way. And I, I don't always feel like um, it's been effectively communicated to us down the generations as to how to forgive or what that even really means and or how to heal or let go, you know, of something in the past. So... This, this concept keeps coming up and showing itself to me where we can have a little more compassion for say someone who's doing us wrong, let's just say, we, or it's our story that we're be, being done wrong by somebody. Um, that at some point in time, we were back there doing that to people when we were at that stage of evolution that that person is at right now. So we're all connected. <clears throat> we all come from the same source. Okay, so in a way, it was almost like asking me, well, Shia, who are you to judge him for doing that? Because, you know, when you were back in that stage of evolution, that's the things you did too. And that's as best as you could do at that time. Just like it's the best he's able to do now in this time. And he's trying his best. And it's, it's a shit show. But, you know, that's where he's at in his level of development. So, in a way, it kind of leads us to... Leads us to kind of be like, well, you know, if people... Are doing the best they can which they do say in the spiritual books that people are doing the best they can um, that we all do the best we can with what we have and sometimes we're lacking sometimes we just don't have the skills to either communicate effectively or emotionally process something effectively um, <clears throat> and you know, it just is what it is. We're not perfect yet. And sometimes we just don't handle things effectively. And so it, is it really effective for us to beat somebody over the head with not being better or more in integrity or whatever 
the situation is when they're really doing the best they can with what they have. And I know sometimes it's shocking to me, <laughs> you know, where people are literally at in their evolution. Like, really? That's the best you can do? And it's a little embarrassing. I feel embarrassed for them or, you know, kind of like, wow, that's really something. But, you know, it's easy for me to say because I'm at a different point in my evolution. I've already mastered that. I've already gone past that point so it's not an issue anymore but it's not really effective for me to look back then at whatever stage they're in and then judge them and shame or shame them or whatever it is we do blame them um sure it, it's tragic and it wreaks havoc in our lives but i'm hoping that that little seed of knowledge um helps you at least see it differently because sometimes we just need to put on a different set of glasses or look at it from a different perspective and then it's like yeah you know this really sucks what's happening he is who he is or she is who she is and that that's the best they can do then that's very telling and you know, I wish you well on your way. And you know, that's where at times I've chosen not to keep people in my life that, you know, if their integrity integrity is that off, then I don't need to be around them because I want to be with like-minded people of equal skill where I can feel like I can trust them and that um, there's integrity in place. Because otherwise, how can you build any kind of relationship if they're constantly breaking trust? And, and that's okay. You just walk away. You know, that's not someone I want in my life. They're at a different stage of development. You go hang out with the people that are at your stage of development and I'll go hang out with the people in my stage of development. And, um, so anyway, I hope that's helpful because I know that it's been showing up in my consciousness and it's like, yeah, that's a really powerful concept that, you know, we're all just at different stages of light and dark and a different mix of, you know, in our evolutionary process. And we can't expect everybody to be at our same level of consciousness. And we were there once too, you know. That's what helped us get us to this place of where I'm at right now and where you're at right now. So I think forgiveness somewhat is is like a... A way of looking at it that like that way like hey if that were me and I was struggling along and flailing like that I would want to be forgiven too and that's where I was at at some point in my development that got me to here so you know it doesn't really serve me to harsh on somebody who's you know out of line or whatever to the point of where it's just like not effective you know like yeah so that was bad and whatever but you know let's not um belabor it let's just move on and, and you know that person can go um be elsewhere <laughs> and not in my life or whatever if you decide that that needs to be the case now if they're your child or if there's someone in your family you don't just easily dismiss people and you kind of have to work with them as best you can and sometimes you distance yourself you know from family members or whatever because it's affecting you too much and it's just not working for you and that's okay too um, but I just thought it was really fascinating that whole concept and I've never heard it before and I think it's kind of inspirational it certainly assists me in remembering that when I'm dealing with someone who's really difficult or I'm really disappointed in or whatever it might be shocked you know over somebody's behavior or whatever and then I can remember that concept and go, yeah, that was me, I guess, you know, in a past lifetime, you know, doing that kind of stuff too. Because we all have to go through the stages until we get to higher levels in consciousness. And, um, you know, I think it's still important to call them out on it and, um, you know, basically ask them to step up and be better. Um, you know, because that's the moment of choice when they do get to choose, hey, am I going to do this well or am I going to, you know, biff this up and burn a bridge? And that's where we can, you know, say, hey, what are you, you going to do? Who are you at this moment? Are you going to be the integrous one or not? 
and and then make your choices from there as to whether you move on and shut that door or, or whatever. So anyway, I hope that's helpful for you today.